Hello everybody, welcome back to Silver and Forest. So today we have lots of odd jobs, starting with the metal factory. Once again, we have loads of metal. Let's push these down the bus. <laughs> uh, and yes, we'll wait for the others to spawn. We'll just keep pushing them uh, before I'm stacking them neatly. And that probably is a good idea. But I think what I'll do is I'll just clear the area now. And then just before I load them onto a trailer, I will prepare them, stack them nicely. This is just to quickly move them. We do have, once again, an awful lot. An awful lot, despite it being a good thing. Right, is that everything? I think so. Right, so now we have more ore. We may well be able to empty the entire trailer. We'll see. Okay, it just popped up. We can do it there. I was going to reverse up to it, but no, that'll do. It's all gone. Right. So this can stay just over here. More did spawn. I've just pushed them into the pile. Right, so that can stay there. We need the other lorry. Which is somewhere. There we go. And we need to attach this to the logging trailer because I'm planning on taking some trees down and taking those trees over to the paper factory because I haven't touched the paper factory for a long time it would be good to do that but it won't take long after that I want to draw the grass in that field back there and also I think probably corn in field number one because yeah field number one should remain I think it should be like a crop like corn or some kind of cereal crop instead of it being turned to grass. Many others agree. I've been reading the comments and that's what I've seen. And it is a very good idea because we really don't have many fields anyway. Right, so we're still working down near the railway. Let's get this around the corner and we'll load it up. It won't as far as I'm aware, it won't take as many trees as the container. That container takes so much wood. It's incredible. Yeah, we're parked here. So I'm just taking down trees that I planted. The ones that were there to begin with can stay, although some of them might be tricky to work out. I'm pretty sure I only put in spruce trees. So if we target most of the spruce trees, but not all of them, we don't need to take down all of them because some of them will have been there originally, then that would be a good thing to do. We already have some logs left over from the container. Oh, that's some pretty bad loading. <laughs> wow. And I think the length that we're sort of targeting is about 15 meters. We need to try and reduce this uh, lag issue or the frame rate drop. And the only way of doing that is to thin the trees out. Coming through. Now I think, and I should have done this before, I think the auto align has stopped working again, for whatever reason. There must be something that I do which makes it stop. But resetting the vehicle does fix it. So, yeah, I should have done it before I drove up here. I've only just realized. Right, we'll set it to 15 meters. That hopefully will be good. I don't think it'd be too short. It certainly may be too long. Uh, no, actually that looks really good. It's a good length. So we'll have a number of these down. Uh, as you can see, some of the ones in front of us there are original. A huge clump there are ones that I put in. I think the reason why is because I already thinned them. So I just replaced them. And I'll try and get by without resetting, but if it becomes painful, I will reset to get the auto line to work. And also, I'll try not to get hit by a train. It's happened before. Where is the train? Oh, it's coming. We best keep clear of the line. It's going to come thundering around the bend. There it is. We'll wait for it to pass. Hello. 
Right, and now we can continue. But like I said, I don't think there's going to be too many trees. We don't need to take too many down. If I take too many down, it's fine. They can still be loaded into a container in the future. Okay, I think we are pretty much there. I've tidied up all the ones that we have, and it's given us a good full load. That must be enough. Right, okay, so we'll remove those stumps as well. I really should take note of which one it is. I always forget. There we go. So that's got rid of some more trees. We're slowly thinning them out, but of course I did put about 240 in. So, yeah, there's quite a lot to go at. Uh, we have, uh, how many more? Pro we've probably got another 200. We've probably only taken down about 40 in total. I think this way will be the fastest. So I will go this way. But I seem to remember it was always quite an awkward production to get to. In fact, looking at this, seems to suggest that taking a turning right before we get to the train bridge, or in fact the road bridge as well, um, yeah, that, that seems to be like a cut through. I don't think I've ever taken that route. So it will be very interesting to see what it's like. It's just up here. Come on, slow car. It should be the lorry holding the car up, not the other way around. Um, <laughs> somewhere here on the right before we... Oh, it might be the train. Oh, no, it's not the train. No, it's definitely a track. I must have never taken it because it's so invisible. Here it is. Oh, I didn't realise it was such a, a climb. But we should be alright. We've got some power. Nice. How have I never taken this route before? Well, I'd be inclined to not jump cut. Uh, if I've never been up there before, does that mean there's a collectible? Maybe there is. I, I amazingly have still not found all the collectibles. And now I've completely lost track of where I got the other ones from. Yeah, this seems like a good place for a collectible. Unless I have been here. I just don't remember it. Also, I have taken a collectible from one of these towers before. So, would giants really put two in the same place? Yeah, I'm sure I've been here before. Oh, I don't know. Well, I can't see anything. So, let's just continue. It's a good view, though. Somebody's house. Very nice place to live. Ah, yes, I've been here. I connected here from the other direction, I think. And then we have the water crossing. Very, very nice. I seem to remember there was some kind of height restriction. There is, unless I go round. We shall go round here. It's like the world's smallest shipping container. <laughs> yeah, it's... Obviously still a handy thing to have, though, for certain things. Right. So this train line, I think, is uh, inactive. At least we don't see any trains on it. Reverse into there. Maybe it would have... Yeah, I might have got underneath. 
No, I wouldn't. Those two or three at the top would have stopped it. But we're in now. So we can press the button. Watch the logs disappear. Or at least some of the logs. Is it full? Maybe it's full. If that is the case, we can take them to the sawmill. Yep, it doesn't seem to take any more. So we must have a full production. Activate and activate. Then again, it might process these logs really quickly, in which case we can just empty these ones into there in a minute. Well, we've got no rush to take the lorry away. I don't think we need it again today, so we'll just switch the engine off and then we can teleport back to it and, yeah, if we feel like it, put the rest of the logs into this production. So now we can focus on these fields, field number one and this one here. So, yeah, that's the one. The fence tractor we have canola currently set. We're now on grass. So the grass field is going to be really fast to do. Field number one is a funny one, like I said, it doesn't look very big, but it does seem to take a long time to work in it. Although this is our largest machine. It's really wide. So drilling should not take long at all. Hmm, if I'm going to put corn in field number one, then we would need to have the planter. But this is certainly the right machine for the grass, so we'll get this done. Make sure I get right to the edges. It wants to look natural, it doesn't want to have like a, a soil border to it. From where I've missed. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's just one of these crops that we just drill once and then obviously it's going to keep regrowing. Whereas with a wheat crop, for example, we drill it and then we harvest it and then it all gets cultivated up again. Sorry to point out the obvious. Right, uh, so yeah, I think maybe five minutes on this and we will be done. grass field done and now for field number one so yeah can this do I'm pretty sure it can't do corn but let's just check let's just switch it off yeah as I thought you do need a planter for corn it's just I think some of the modded cedars can do all the crops but this one isn't modded so planters do I have a planter or did I just rent it last time we don't I don't think no okay so we'll rent probably this one although I have actually cultivated it so we could go for one which doesn't direct plant mm. no actually it just comes naturally <laughs> with that. We want to go with the biggest one width-wise. So let's go with this. Good grief. 12,700 to rent. Blimey. And yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to take the cedar back to the yard. Although I might actually empty this here, because then we can fill it up. We can fill the planter up with the seed and fertilizer which is in this. I was going to do it in front of the store, but actually I'm not going to run the risk. It's not our land, so it probably won't let us unload. But it would definitely unload there. Um, having said this, yeah, we do need more seed. So I'll probably buy a bag of seed. We actually do need a really thorough yard tidy up. Because as you can see, <laughs> there's not really anything here. 
and it should be full. We've got enough machinery to fill this yard. But I'll get that filled one drilled or planted first. That is the priority. And then I think we can certainly tidy up the other yard a bit. Oh yeah, there was a good suggestion to leave the combine at the other yard. The one with the animals. Because that's closer to all the fields. And then we can bring the other stuff to this yard. Okay, so we have got a bag of seed. And also this liquid fertiliser going into there. We can always use the liquid fertiliser in the sprayer. So anything that we don't use, we'll just empty. We use it at a later date. And with this working with, we should hopefully blitz through this. Uh, it might be wise to go and pick up the rest of the seed though. We've got two pallets over here. One of them is probably only partially filled. The silage also must be almost ready. I think it'd be good to look at that in the next episode. Right, okay. Is it going to fill? Yes, it is. Good. It's not taking the one which I've run over, though. Out you come. There we go. So that should be enough seed. Almost 2,500 litres. Um, zero percent. Well, I have had this before, uh, where it's gone from zero to 100. So I think just keep waiting. And that should be fully fermented in maybe a day or two. And we're going to do silage on a much bigger scale with other crops. Not necessarily just grass. So we'll use the forager. It'll be like whole crop. Whole crop harvesting. And then we can do a really big full pit. But this is after this harvest because we still need to get all of the food for the pigs. Okay. I've used the smaller version of this, like the turntable one. But I don't think I've used this really big one before. It looks impressive. Okay. In goes the corn. And I don't have the speed limit removal mod enabled, so it is allowing us to do this at 11 miles per hour. That is so good, because yeah, whenever I think of plants as I think narrow, I always think they're really narrow. But if you've got the money, clearly we can go for something quite large. In fact, this is probably bigger in width than our cedar. It's brilliant. We're going to be doing poplar as well, but I haven't decided yet if we're going to do it in that field over there, the weird triangular one, or if we're going to put it into an existing field. There is a risk that it won't actually work in that field unless I cultivate it first. Although that's not a big deal. So we'll probably do that this week at some point. Poplar planting. The good news is, we did have enough seed and we had enough liquid fertiliser, but it has used up quite a lot of it. There we go. Finished. I know we could have done that with a smaller one, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, get that job done. We have drilled that field many times. It seems to be one I'm always in. I'm always in for number one and I want to be spreading out a bit. Uh, so we can now empty the seed and the liquid fertiliser. 
then we can return the... Yeah, I'm just thinking, we can return the planter, but maybe we want to keep hold of it to plant a different field once it's been harvested, like the cornfield there, as it was so expensive. Because Was that cornfield? It was almost ready. It might actually be ready enough for silaging, but yeah, that is actually supposed to be base food for the pigs. We're going to be harvesting it with the combine. So I guess we better return it, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, yep, so the sprayer can use the rest of the liquid fertilizer. Just empty that there. And, well, we don't even need to head back to the store, we can just do it from here. I can now sort out a few things. So, yeah, the sprayer I was going to keep here. I reckon, yeah, the baler, that can go to the top yard. So can the cultivator, and so can a few other things. So pleased I made this cut through. It really saves a lot of time. We'll pop this in next to the big seed drill, and I reckon this tractor can stay attached. If I have multiple things to move, I can use the John Deere, which is here. Okay, so we've got the combine here. I did struggle to find a place for the header trailer, but it's in, <laughs> just about. Uh, you're right, these two trailers are the biggest concern, because they are going to be used. One of them already has food in it. I've also had a suggestion to get a placeable pig food mixing silo, so you just I think you just put everything in and uh, it will make pig food. It's a good idea. We'll probably do it. But we, we probably do need to have all the ingredients first, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, yes, those trailers can stay there for now. Let's take this Valtra over here. I think we're going to sell it. Yeah, we, we do have enough tractors. And yeah, it, it probably would have a job somewhere. But it's not really needed. And our other tractors would be able to achieve the job. If they're going to give us like £10,000, then we'll keep it. Otherwise, we'll sell it. 20, well, pretty much 22000 I would repair it, but we don't have the money. But that's still good. That's good enough. Right, so to finish off, I have that lorry over at the paper factory. Nope, we need to do this. We're going to get that shifted. Hopefully it will take it all. Nope, okay. Uh, in that case we'll just speed up time. What about now? No, it's not. Still doesn't want it, okay. Well, in that case, it's going to have to stay there until tomorrow, which will be the next episode. So, we will have paper rolls, carton rolls, yep, we've already got them and they're worth so much money really, really good to see we'll be able to sell them fairly soon, but that is it for today, thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time see you again soon, bye for now